Once you have a table created on your worksheet, you can very quickly and easily add a new row or column to that table. If you wanted to add a new row or column to the very end of your table or to the very bottom of your table, simply set your cursor in the row or column where you want the data to appear, or the new row or the new column to appear, and type in your new information. Such as here, let's say I wanted to add a total sales column to my table. As soon as I enter this data, Excel knows to include that new column within the table area. Let me go ahead and undo what I just did and show how to add a new row. Again, you can come down here to the very bottom of your rows and type in a new set of data and as soon as you enter that Excel will automatically expand the table area to include that new row. Let's say that you want to include another row or some more data that exists on your worksheet within your table. It's already been created. To do that you need to redefine your table area and there are two techniques to do that. If you come up here and click anywhere in your table, notice that you now have access to your Table Tools Design tab. Go ahead and select that tab and over here in your Properties group you have a Resize Table command and when you select that you will get the Resize Table dialog box which allows you to click and drag and resize your table to include existing data on that worksheet. As soon as I uncollapse this box and then say OK, I will have that data defined. I can also come down here and position my mouse on this little icon in the lower right hand corner of the table. I will get the double arrow tool for my mouse and I can click and drag and set the size or area for my table simply by clicking and dragging and set up a new row. Also note that when you include new data within a table area, the formulas that you have created in any of the calculating columns will automatically be applied to that new data. Setting that up, so notice here I can even though I don't have any data right here, I have the formula already available for when I type my data in. So that's another nice feature. Now there will be other times when you might want to insert a column or a row within existing table data. To do that, you use the same process that you know how to do to insert a row and column within worksheet data. You want to select the entire row or column first and then coming over here to your Home tab in the cells group, choose the insert command and you want to insert sheet columns. And as soon as you do, you will get a new column with a generic label right in between the two columns of your table. The same thing applies for rows. Select the row that you want to have the new row appear above and then again come here to your home tab to the cells group and choose insert and insert sheet rows and immediately a row will be created with the formula automatically generated wherever you might have a formula ready for you to input your data. If you wanted to delete a row or column. Again, simply select that row or column and again come up here to your home tab to your cells group and choose delete. And you want to delete the sheet rows as well as deleting a column. Again, select the column and again come here to your cells group on your home tab to the delete command and select delete sheet columns. Don't forget too that you also have access to the insert and delete command by right clicking once you select a row or column you can then choose insert and insert a column or right click in that selected column or row and choose delete. All of those techniques will work on recreating the area for a table by adding rows and columns or deleting rows and columns. Let's go ahead and apply what we just learned about resetting the area for a table to our sales monthly workbook. So go ahead and make that active. This is our sales monthly worksheet and what we're going to do is go ahead and add a new column off to the far right here that will calculate our profit. So let's go ahead and set our cursor in G7 and type in profit. And as soon as you enter that, you will automatically get a new 
column ready for you to input in your information. Well, let's go ahead and create our formula here to calculate our profit. With your cursor in G8, go ahead and start a formula by typing an equal sign and then to get our profit, we need to subtract our total unit cost from our total sales. So click on F8 for total sales and then subtract D8, which is our total unit cost, and enter this data. Notice that Excel will immediately calculate the formula all the way down for all of the data in our table. Go ahead and save your worksheet and let's move on to the next movie.